Good everyone, my name is Graphics. The figure displayed on the screen shows an hexagonal prism cut as shown. We are asked to draw an auxiliary view from the direction of the arrow V to look at. It's an arrow V at the top to draw the auxiliary projection. Now I will move this diagram to the top right corner of the screen where we are going to what? Reproduce the diagram before we can now draw the auxiliary view. So let's start. Now to look at it, you start from the um the plan. The plan is what's the diagram at the bottom, the hexagon, right? Hexagon is a plane figure that's bounded by six equal lines. So we'll draw the hexagon. So we're given the length, I would like to say the diameter of the hexagon to be 50 across corner, right? So from one corner to the other corner is 50. So we'll start with that. So I'll take my C square and I am going to draw it this way. Draw it this way. Paint line first, right? Then I'll take this. I'm going to draw it up or two to place me this way. I'll draw another the vertical line this way. You can see that. So it is meeting at this point. So I'll measure half of 50, which is um, 25. So place it on my meter rule and I'll measure 25 from 0 to 25 here and place at the center I'm going to draw a circle but faint line you can see that draw a circle faint line now with the same radius of the circle that I used to draw the circle I'll place it at this point here I'll strike at the top and at what? At the bottom. I'm going to come here also, place it at this point here. I'm going to strike at the top and what? At the bottom. Yeah. So with the help of my rule, I'm going to connect those points together. So from here to here, I'll connect it. Then the same thing too. From here to here, I'll connect this. Right? From here to here too, I'll connect this. So and I'll go to the next one. How can I do this? Then the next one. I'll connect this. Then the next one. I'll connect this. So this is the hexagon across um, corners. So from one corner to the other corner is 50. That is what the question shows. Now I'm going to project these lines upward this way. I'll project it upward because this is the plan. And the elevation will be project this upward this way. From here. I have this right. I'll go to the next one too. I'll do the same thing. I'm going to have this. And the next one. I'll have this. You see that? Then the next one. I'll have this. 
These are all what we have here. So what I'll do is, I'm going to join the last point of this line. I'll just take it up a little bit here. Then I'm going to join from here to here. My tick line. You can see that? Now we are moving up gradually. Then again. We're moving up. So measure the height giving us 60. If you look at the diagram, total height is giving us 60. So I'll measure 60. So from zero to this point here is 60. So you want to which point? Just this point. So this point is 60. Right, so I'm going to draw my line to get to that point. There's a point there. Now, the next thing is from this point, I'm going to measure an angle of 30 degrees as shown. So if I place it this way, where my first square is like this, so the inclined aspect here is 30. So I'm going to move it to that point. So if I move it to that third point, so this is angle 30, you can see. So I'll just join from here straight down to this point. You can see that? Then I'll close it up. From here to here, I'm going to close it up. Close it up. What we have in this? You see that? Then I'll close it up too. I'm just replicating the diagram that we have to this to this point, and then this. To this point you can see that so we have um, successfully drawn what we are asked to do and this is what we are having right this is what we are what we are having so this is what we have in here now we are told to draw the auxiliary view looking from this corner here from this top and we're told to project it at an angle of um, look at it at an angle of 30 degrees so if you're looking at it at an angle of 30 degrees automatically your line at which you reflect it will be at an angle of 60 so if i'm starting it this way this is 60 degree right so i'm going to project this this way like this this is my section line xx this is my xx plane here x x plane so i'm going to project all those points to this aspect here so let us start projecting with angle 30 degree so i place it here this is angle 30 i'll project it right so let's make it a little bit longer so you know I'm going to test it. Now I'll go to the next point here also. This is another um, all those points. I'm going to keep projecting them. All the points. I'm going to keep projecting them. Put it all the points outward, even these two. Keep projecting everything. These two. Also this. Mm. 
and this also. Now I have uh, projected all the points here. Now, the reason why we projected this with um, 60 degree, it is because this is coming with what? 30 degree. Assuming we are looking at it from the side V, the view V, from here, 45 degree, this line will be what? 45 degree. So the main objective of it is just to make them perpendicular to each other, to make them form 90 degree with each other. So we we'll start. Now I will, for simplicity's sake, I will mark here to be my one, here to be my two, three, four, five, and six. So here should be my seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and 14 those four simply sick it's not necessary to do that now i will move my meet my compass from this point right seven to point one and i'll go on that line one here i'll place my compass at that point and i'm going to mark to get this point I'll do the same thing, I'll go to point 8, since they're on the same line, I'll trace it here, and I'm going to mark. So this line is like your point of reference. Now, I'll go to 10 and 2, from point 10 and what, 2 here, I'll, place, I'll trace it to the line here, and I'll mark to get this point. The same thing too, I'll trace it up to this point 0.9 I will also what also mark, right? Now, I'll go for point 0.11 and 3 I'll go to the 9 of what? 11 I'll mark I'll go to the line of 12 also I'll also mark I'll go to point 0.13 and four. I'll choose it to where they meet at this point here. I'll mark and I'll choose it to number 14 here also. I'm going to what? I'm going to mark also. Is that again? I mean 13 and 14 here. This should be just there. So I'll mark also. Now successfully done that. The next thing is, I just did this point up here. So the one next I'll do, I'll move from 10 to what? To 6. You can see that. I'll go on the line of 10. I'm going to mark. Then, I'll go up again on the line of 9, because 9 and 10 are the same line. I'll mark. I move from 11 to 5 also. I'm going to mark here to this point. Move it up to 12. And I'm going to mark. And that is what we have. So I'm going to use my meter rule and I'll join those points together. So in joining those points, I know at the top I can easily see the top very well so I'll draw everything using my visible lines I see them very well, right? And I can also see the front here too. Now 
the back here will be hidden line the back here also will be what hidden line I see that now I'm going to join this to this the front I can easily see it so I'll use my thick line go the back here to this point here is hidden line shoulders also here also I'll join this to this go the back from here to here is also hidden line I'll just speed can you see that so this point to the back here is hidden line then here it will be visible because there is the front so this is what we are going to be having when you are looking at from the top here so thank you so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button so this is the auxiliary plan projection